In buildings and construction, we have things called cavities. This refers to a gap between the layers that make up a wall, so between the external facade and the internal structural wall. We need this space for insulation or moisture control. Unfortunately, in the case of a fire, it acts as a secret hidden pathway to help fire and smoke scale the side of a building and basically reach every room in that building. That is, if it is not properly protected. To prevent this, buildings are fitted with cavity barriers. These are pacifier protection safety components that compartmentalize the cavity space. Compartmentalize just means to break up a space into smaller spaces, compartments. These barriers are designed to block the movement of the smoke, the fire, and the heat in the case of a fire, helping to contain the fire within a designated area to help slow the spread. Now, the issue is, is that many buildings lack cavity barriers. Not these ones in particular. I, well, I mean, some of them probably do. You get what I mean. But if they're so important, how are buildings missing them? Actually, there's a whole range of reasons why. There's older buildings that were often constructed before the modern safety standards even existed, back when the importance of cavity barriers wasn't fully understood. But even in newer buildings, more awareness or training among the contractors within the pacifier protection space can lead to incorrect installation or even complete omission. So yes, a lot of education is needed. But while that happens, what do we do when we come across a building that doesn't have cavity barriers? Well, we can't just leave them, so they have to be retrofit. And this typically involves opening up the entire building envelope. That's another way of saying that which separates the inside from the outside to access the cavity space in between. Not, not this exactly, because that's just a wall in the middle of a room, but you know, he's knocking it down. So you get what I mean. This often means removing huge sections of cladding, insulation, or internal finishes to expose the void and then installing the fire resisting materials. This can be a very long, time consuming and expensive task. Because essentially you're just knocking down the wall and then rebuilding it from scratch. You might as well have just done it in the first place. Place. You're essentially doubling all the time, cost and labour. Not to mention that these buildings are typically already in use, so you end up causing a lot of disruption to the occupants. Don't worry though, the story does get better. The industry is an amazing and ever-changing place. You can bet if there's an issue out there causing a lot of problems, that there's a company out there as well trying to solve it. One such company is the ASFP member Injector Clap, with a product made to remediate missing or defective cavity fire barrier without the full facade removal. Instead, you simply pump their intermessent material through a small external opening, which then hardens to create a solid state fire barrier. So no big, disruptive construction. Now it's just a few small holes and it can even be installed with all the existing insulation in place, such as PIR or mineral wall. So here you can see they're making the small holes in the wall. They then pipe through their product and then it hardens to create that cavity barrier. So now the contractors on site have saved time. There's money being saved and of course a lot of hassle. It was this innovation that won them ASFP's Innovation of the Year Award for 2020. And since then they've been making buildings safe around the UK and Ireland with their injector cloud system. But I guess the question is, what are the other issues that are out there? And what do you think the solutions could be if it's not being worked on already.